In a recent video, I tested out whether or not the Luxata tower stove actually works as a gasifier. And if you're interested in seeing the results of those tests, I'll put a link up here in the corner to that video. Today, what I thought I would do was test it out with a modification to see whether or not this, we can actually get the stove to gasify. If you're interested, keep watching. So at the end of the video where I had demonstrated that the Luxata tower stove does not work very well as a gasifier, I had suggested maybe the reason was is because of the excessive amount of air that is drawn up through the bottom plate. That in fact maybe it, it's too much airflow, and the, then the wood wants to combust into flame and therefore doesn't go through the process of pyrolysis as it should. The suggestion was, what if I were to put something inside the burn chamber that would cover off some of the holes and, and slow the airflow down. So that's what I've done. I have found a piece of stainless steel with holes in it. It was actually some type of a grill I had picked up at uh, our thrift store locally. And I cut a round circle out of it with holes and uh, it drops down inside. And uh, you can see hopefully now that some of the air holes are blocked off, but not all of them. So that's what we're going to test today. We're going to see if slowing the airflow down will allow the wood to properly gasify in the Luxata tower stove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away. I'm going to preload the stove. Uh, I'll show you that and then I will light it and we'll give it a few minutes to for the wood to engage and we'll see if we can actually get gasification. Okay, so I have preloaded the burn chamber with uh, enough wood for a good burn. This is again split dry hardwood and I have the metal plate inside. You can see hopefully that I haven't occluded all the holes, but some of the holes are still there. So I'll be dropping that down through the pot stand into the base I'm using a little bit different fire starter today uh, only because I haven't. I just want to use it up. It's just a combination of wood chips, candle wax, and uh, pine resin Did I pull off some of the trees. It should be enough to get the fire going without any additional kindling on top. It may take a little longer, but we'll see how that works out. All right, light that up. Gotta love pine resin. All right, that'll take a second for that to catch. Now, just before I cut away, I just want to have a say a few words. So I did have a viewer point out to me correctly that I was using an incorrect term when I talked about gasification in this stove in the, the other video. And what I had been saying was is that during the process of pyrolysis, when the wood is heated and the air is flowing through the bottom, that volatile gases are released. And of course that's not correct. They're not volatile gases at all, but they are combustible gases. So I asked for you, I'll mention that uh, or I'll correct my statement now, saying that they were not volatile gases, they were in fact combustible gases. Okay, uh, it's going to take a few minutes before this wood gets engaged, so what I'll do is I'll just cut away now and bring you back when the wood is engaged, and we'll see if in fact we have gasification taking place. All right, I wasn't quite sure when I started this test if I was going to see the results I was looking for, and what I hoped to see was true positive gasification taking place. Uh, what I'm seeing is a much improved result over the previous tests. I can still see some of the wood engaged, but most of it seems to be just charring as it would properly through pyrolysis. I don't see very much active flame engaged with the wood, and I do see all the flame right now, well pretty much all the flame, is originating from the jets where the fresh warmed air is mixing with the combustible gases and is igniting due to the heat. So. It looks like a pretty clean burn. Now there is a little black smoke coming off of it, so that's telling me it's not a complete pyrol or not pyrolysis, but a complete gasification, but still much improved over the last test. So what I think I'll do is I'll let the fuel burn out and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, so adding that small stainless steel plate to the burn chamber of the tower stove did make a difference in terms of getting better gasification. I wouldn't necessarily say a better burn because that's kind of qualitative. What do you want from your stove? It uh, did seem to slow the burn down a little bit, which may be considered a good thing depending on how you like your stove to work. Um, I guess the question is, is it practical to make one of these things that you want to carry with you and add to your stove? 
I don't know that I will. Uh, I like the stove just the way it is. It performs well in the woods with the wood that I find out there. I'm not particularly concerned that the fact that it's not a true gasification stove. It does have secondary combustion and that rocket stove aspect of it with the with its height seems to help a lot with airflow and and a you know good efficient burn. So I'm not too concerned with making this into a true gasifier. However, oh by the way, uh, one of my viewers suggested that I could use the top off of a can, the right size can uh, lid and punch holes in it and it would probably work. So if you're looking to try it, you may want to use that as an option. Okay, I have a neighbor that's starting to mow his backyard so I'm going to have to wrap this video up. So until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.